if you're using CD to change directory in your command line, whether you're in Mac, Windows, Linux, well, you're just an old man. You're a dinosaur. You do things slow. But if you want to improve, want to be like the new hipsters, fast, efficient, blazingly quick, well, I've got quite the utility for you. It comes in the form of Zoxide. If you've never heard of Zoxide, well, think of it like Auto Jump. Auto Jump's more of a Linuxy type thing, but Zoxide is completely agnostic for operating systems. You can install it on Mac, Windows, Linux. We'll, we'll do it on both uh, Windows and Linux today. But it's smart directory jumping. You got cross shell compatibility. You can do fish. You can do ZSH. You can do bash. I mean, they, the list is pretty extensive. You have interaction of selection. You have entire popularity tiering. So if you're constantly in one directory, it's going to recommend that over the other directories of the same name. Oh my gosh. And it's easy to install. So I think it's, it's great to go over. I want to just talk about it, but I said you replace CD with it. And the idea is instead of doing CD, you use Z for everything. Just the, just the letter Z. And Z works just like CD if you give it an absolute path value. And if you don't, it'll just jump to the highest ranking directory of that. And you can also do moving up a directory or previous directory with just like a Z minus. But Let's show you kind of what this looks like because it's kind of crazy because there is integrations with Z as well or, or Zoxide that you can do with like LF, Ranger, Vim, Emacs. There's all kinds of sky's the limit here. I'm putting links to everything in my article. But coming over into our actual terminal, what does this look like in practice? So we'll just do a PWD. I'm in my home folder. Now I want to get to my website because I need to do an update. So I can just go Z web. And what it does is auto completes website because there's no other directory that even starts with web right now that I've gone to. And it just spits me out to home Titus GitHub website. So you, you saw it jump two directories with just that command. What happens if you do like a Z bin? Okay, it spit me to my local bin folder. And if we look at that, that's where we have. But obviously, bin, I, I didn't want to go to my dot local bin in my home folder. Maybe I wanted USR local bin or maybe a bin in like a game or a application that I've built. That's when you can do an interactive search, ZI for interactive and then bin. And what this does, it says, hey, here's your other bin folders that you've recently hit. And if we look, okay, in Helldivers 2, there's a bin folder that maybe I was messing around with a config file, and I wanted to change that. Well, you'd simply just do it right here. So that's kind of cool. So instead of going to local bin, we just arrow down, hit enter, and now you see we've dropped all the way into this directory. Kind of neat. There's still some things that obviously I, I said don't use cd anymore it's ingrained in here it's so hard to retrain your brain i'm gonna get there eventually but zoxai is really amazing so those are the basic just tips for it but what about file folders and stuff we haven't ever gone to let's find one i'm gonna go into build let's go looking glass let's say i wanted to come into this lgmp i don't even know what that is but we're just going to use it as an example now, obviously, this entire path is there. So if we try to Z L G M P, it's not there because we've never gone to that directory. But we can put it in L Z M P. And then if we do it again, it now remembers that directory. So that's why you kind of want to just use Oxide all the time. And then if something ever, ever interfaces with it, or let's say something becomes more popular, than what you intended to go into, then you do ZI for interactive search. Now, jumping over to Windows, same thing, except you got to modify your profile a little bit. And if you're not familiar with like Windows, we can do a Vim profile. Actually, let's do a dollar sign profile. And if we go Zoxide, you can see you have to add this in it, uh, invoke expression when you're initializing your profile. I highly recommend doing that. And with that done, you've got your profile all set up. You're ready to rock. So let's go Z web. Oh, no match found. Uh, do I not have GitHub or anything on this one? Let's do a listing. Oh, I haven't done the clone. Let's 
let's clone the website. All right, the, now we have this new folder website. So let's go website. Ah, oh, that's good. And now if we just go Z web, nothing there. Z website, nothing there. And Zoxide's not properly adding this. So what we can do is add it directly. So we can just go Zoxide add, and then I'm just gonna paste in. And then if we go Z web, now we can actually get the website. That's if you run into problems, but you can also query, initialize, and look at the database as well. So let's say we want to search the database. What's in this Windows database to kind of look at? Uh, I'm going to go Zoxide query. And right now, there's only one folder in here. Uh, how do we auto add this? Let's, because obviously, adding a folder directly like that, we don't want to do every time. But if you wanted to limit it down, you could do it this way. So since we don't have a ZI, we don't have F FZF, let's do a Winget search FZF. And we're going to just Winget install and June Gun is the original creator. So now we have that alias. We do ZF. Uh, well, we'll have to relaunch. Everything in Windows requires a relaunch or a reboot, basically. But right now, I found this little issue because it wasn't adding those specific directories unless I manually added them because Zoxide in it was actually coming before the Starship prompt. Let's come back over to here. Let's uh, look at our profile again. Let's come to the end. And you'll see, oh, OK, we're doing Oh My Posh before. And what we're going to do is just come down here and paste Zoxide. What does this do for our profile when we exit? And we're just going to relaunch. All right, we have the relaunch happening. So now if we go Zoxide, we're just gonna go query. You can see we only have one thing in the Zoxide database in our windows. But if we take a listing, um, let's come into documents, list that, and then Z GitHub, list that. Now let's try to query it again. Still have a couple things in here. And if we go Z web, we do have website. If we go Z, we come back to home. If we go Z Git, we have GitHub. You can see it's now working. I was actually initializing Zoxide. So you got to watch out for those little gotchas. Zoxide should be the very last thing when you're initiating a prompt. So if you're using Starship or in my case, Oh My Posh, uh, make sure you're initializing Zoxide afterwards. Otherwise, it might not build your, your database properly. And if we look at ZI, you can see all the the interactive surface is now working properly by installing FCF. And you can install Zoxide on any package manager. So you can do brew install. You can, if you're on Mac, you can do Winget install, kind of like I've shown here. You can just go Winget search Zoxide and you can just put that in there for the installation, Winget install that. And then obviously back on Linux, you can just do your package manager in Zoxide. You have all these functionalities on every operating system. It is just an awesome tool. And I've just scratched the surface. You can modify this. There's a lot of configuration. Way better than Auto Jump or anything I've found. And I'm trying to use it more and more. And you're going to be seeing it more and more in my videos. So if you haven't used Zoxide and you're still using CD to navigate your computer, what are you doing with your life? Come on, be more efficient, be blazingly fast, just be better with Zoxide. All right, y'all, have a good one. I'll see you in the next one.